In this video, we are going to go over the difference between proper and improper fractions. We will define what they both mean and give examples on how to recognize each one. Let's jump in. First, let's review the definition of a fraction. A fraction is a mathematical expression that represents something less than a whole. It is a piece or part of something. You may get a piece of pie or a fraction of it, or you may pay a fraction of the cost, meaning that you are paying something less than full price. So in other words, a fraction represents a portion that is less than the whole. With that in mind, let's now look at the difference between proper and improper fractions. What is a proper fraction? Well, let's look at the word proper. The definition of the word proper is something that is satisfactory or correct. If we look at the definition of a fraction and think about the word proper, it would mean that the fraction would be stated correctly. If a fraction is a portion of the whole, then a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator. So what is an improper fraction? You can think about improper fractions as being the opposite of proper, right? In that case, an improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. Well, how could that be? Let's look at an example to explain it a little bit better. Consider the picture here. Here we see three circles that are all cut in half. If we are looking at an improper fraction of five over two or five halves, this is how we would represent it. We can check off the number of halves and it would look like this. One half, two halves, three halves, four halves, and five halves. Notice now that we have two whole circles checked and then we have one half of the third circle checked. Another way to look at this example is this. There are two holes and one half. When you write a fraction this way, you are basically saying that you have a whole number plus a proper fraction. And when you have a whole number and a proper fraction, you have what they call a mixed number. A mixed number is the same thing, just stated differently, as an improper fraction. So now you know the difference between a proper and improper fraction. You have also seen what a mixed number is. I'll put some links in the description on my other videos around converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. Don't forget to check out my website at improvemath.com for additional resources, practice problems, and answers. And of course, if you found the video helpful, hook me up with a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.